Hello. Yes. Hello. We have uh, uh, used our powers to bring you to our show. How are you doing? How are you doing? Good. How are you doing? Uh, we're doing great. We just uh, we're finishing up this fantastic episode of Hot Streets. <laughs> Did it go over well, or are people making fun of us for it? <laughs> no, 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 no. I, I I really enjoyed the bugs. I I I also enjoyed that episode. I think the chatters are uh, are are also fans of it, but we'll see we'll see how they're feeling afterwards. Let's go ahead and introduce you guys. Let the chat know what's who's 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 on the line. Yeah. Uh, you have Matt Sunrise here. Hello, and Seth Green. Whoa! Look at that. Hello, we hello, the, Matt, and hello, Seth. We got the executive producers of Hot, hot Streets. Streets on the line, <laughs> feeling hot. I just got past the ad, and I'm watching you live, rubbing a ball. Yeah. Uh, nice. Sorry. Yeah. Sorry about the. Uh, sorry about the ads. You know, gotta gotta make money somehow. Don't worry about the ball. It's just here for uh, our powers. Well. <laughs> We got some questions for you guys. If you guys are down, you guys for are down for that, down for that. I'm I'm good for it. Tight, tight. First question: What initially drew you to Hot Streets? Um, do you want to answer this, Seth, or should I? Well, this is really easy. Uh, we knew Justin Roiland, and he told us that Brian Weissall had this idea, and he showed us a short that they had made, and it was one of the weirdest and fun things that any of us have seen, and we all read that Adult Swim would pop up, and they, then they did. <laughs> nice. We, then we flew down to Atlanta, we met that Mike Lazo guy, and somehow he didn't nice want to make this show. <laughs> yeah, Mike Lazo is a nice, he's a nice man. Um, he is a nice man. <laughs> yeah, this, this show is as far up his alley as you can get. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I, I agree. I think this show is exactly, I feel like, what Adult Swim encapsulates. Yeah. Um, uh, we got another question. Uh, <laughs> what is your favorite cr crime to commit? <laughs> Our favorite crime to commit? Yeah. <laughs> We're on crime uh, tonight. I don't know. Torrent? <laughs> That's a good one. Um, I'm too goody-goody. I don't know if I can answer this question. Uh, how, about a the how about theoretically? Hypothetically? Theoretically? Oh, yeah. man, I'm What's all a, about seeing what, yeah. after midnight. Oh, that's a good one. <laughs> <laughs> is there, with that. Is there any other crime that you wish you would encounter if you had the balls or confidence? Yeah, if I had balls, I would break all the laws of gravity. All, all the gravity laws. Nice. That's a good one. Uh, we have another question. Uh, which Hot Streets character does each of you most identify with? <laughs> um, I guess for me it's Toby Weber, right? I mean, like <laughs> that is a good one. Um, I'm doing it most of the time. What's that? I, I, yeah, Toby Weber is tough to to beat, but I, I always associate him with uh, Justin Roiland. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't even. You're, you're more of a you're more of a branch to me, Matt. Oh, thanks. I think. <laughs> I think. <laughs> no, he's a great. He's a good. Yeah. He's a good character. I like him. He's a character. great character. I just don't know if I want to be associated with him. But <laughs> sure. Shelby sure. is a good master. Well, he never loses his cool, and he's always got an answer, even if it's not the right one. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, I, I'm that feeling very much like me. I'm feeling. I'm feeling more French because you know I, I feel I really like his his voice actor. Yeah. And I, I just would love to love to hear him curse more often uh because it, it, it just if I, I feel like his that voice could put me to sleep at night yeah he, uh, he sounds like he yeah. he, he says uh good mornings all the time like, like a nice good morning <laughs> got a day. career in audio books uh, yeah. uh, uh we got another uh question for you uh what 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 is your role as executive producers <laughs> And how do, uh, and how uh, how does that affect the final product? I get to yell at Weissall every day, and it's wonderful. <laughs> um, yeah. You know, I think I think it's really overseeing the production of this thing when it comes to making sure we hit deadlines and uh, making sure that Brian is just as happy as he can be. If we can create a wonderful work environment for him to make his best work, yeah. I think we're doing our jobs right. Yeah. Yeah. Being an executive producer means different things depending on the show or where you're involved was. I 
Matt and I uh, co-created Robot Chicken. And yep. That was why we were the EPs of that show. Um, we were, you know, the final word on everything, and uh, we were the, the perspective from which it was coming. And so uh, that, that gave us a specific role. With, with Hot Freeze, we're more trying to empower uh, Brian's vision and make sure that we get all the support and the, the least amount of obstacles possible. Mm. Mm. Wow. Yeah. I mean, if it's if you if weren't it's, expecting such a serious answer, were you? It, it, Seth is always a serious person, <laughs> and, I, and I I appreciate everything. Yeah, we appreciate that answer. It was uh, I I wasn't expecting it, but I we do appreciate it. He's an executive producer. That's the executive that's a game producer, producer answer. answer. That's what that is. Like, yeah, and plus we make sure that there's enough granola bars. Yeah, granola bar. I love granola bars. <laughs> <laughs> I think I feel that's that's like a if you're on if you're on any set or any. Or, or in any you know work environment where you got to crank out some content, get some granola. Bars. Granola bars is the is the number one choice. Um, People appreciate that. Uh, what is one thing you love about working with each other? Me and Seth, or me and Weissel, or us and Weissel? I guess every dynamic we're talking about. I guess the two, the two of you guys. The two of you guys. Yeah, to keep it short. Well, you know. I'm uh, as, like, a, as a as an actor, I'm a fairly emotional person, and uh, Matt is always really like, level-headed. So he, he can we balance each other very well. I like to say we're an old married couple. <laughs> yeah, the old married couple that still likes to when it's necessary. Yeah, <laughs> who yeah. who would be uh, who would who would be the the wife in this situation? Oh, I'm definitely the wife. <laughs> 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 wait, wait, wait. But what he what he means is he tends to play mom, like make sure that everybody is on. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. The okay. Done, the lunch is packed, and I'll roll in at the end of the day and be like, oh, "What's okay?" Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> the the mom position is very very important. <laughs> My granddad farts very a lot. Very much so. Hug, go, everybody hug your moms. Um, I I think uh. I think, I think that's, that's all the all question. the questions uh, we have for you guys. We got for you guys. Um, I'm reading some oh, of man. these questions on the stream here. This is really taxing. Is there? I just have to give a shout out to anybody talking about Twisted Amigo Theater there. Let's see. Let's see. Uh, <laughs> Roger uh, Boxico says, "Does Seth have a a fetish of any kind?" Oh gosh. <laughs> Uh, all, that Roger guy also just said they're reading questions from retarded people. So just be <laughs> careful of this Roger guy. <laughs> Roger, stop that. Stop it, Roger. Stop it. Well, um, uh, you guys have any questions for us? I don't fetish, but uh, I'll eat uh, gummy bears in my ice cream. Oh, nice. Oh, nice. That's a... There, there's, an audience for, there, there's, a, there's an audience for everything. Yeah. <laughs> How late are you guys doing this? How late are you staying on? Oh, um, uh, we got pff, five minutes. Probably like okay, maybe like two or two more minutes. Uh, we're probably gonna. What do you got? What do you got planned after this? Oh, um, man, I gotta get a hard drive. You know, I gotta pick that up in my homie's house and work on a podcast. We're gonna work on a podcast after this. So wait, uh, at ten o'clock at night in Atlanta, you're going to get a hard drive. <laughs> that's Atlanta. That's that's, that's, that's Atlanta. That's Atlanta. Hollywood over here. <laughs> it's Atlanta now. Yeah. Atlanta's all about the hustle. Yeah, man. Yeah. All right. We have to uh, wake up and obtain the bread. Uh, thank you guys so much. So much. For allowing us to talk to you. Thank you guys for having us. Hopefully next time yeah, we're down you. there, we'll hang out. Yes, yes. Please. Please, let's hang out. Let's hang out. You can touch our big ball. Yeah. <laughs> Just one. We can, we can uh, jack into each other's hard drive. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Hell, hell yeah. <laughs> Thanks so much. Thanks, guys. Thank you. Have a good rest of the night. Thanks. <laughs> wow.